Hey everyone, and welcome aboard to another new video. Previously on the channel, we have seen the brand new ALC42 diesel electric locomotives that are being built by Siemens Mobility for Amtrak's long distance passenger trains. These are state of the art units that are assembled in Sacramento, California, and will be replacing the General Electric Genesis series locomotives over the next several years. The ALC42 is part of the Siemens Mobility Charger family of locomotives, which meet U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Tier 4 emissions standards. Following several months of testing on Amtrak's Northeast Corridor and crew familiarization, these brand new locomotives are finally ready for service. It was decided that the locomotives would make their debut on the route of the Empire Builder, a long-distance train traveling from Chicago, Illinois to Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington. A first revenue service date for the ALC42 locomotives of February 8, 2022 was set. Charger locomotives 301 and 302, accompanied by two P42 DC units, pulled the inaugural run out of Chicago bound for Seattle and Portland. With news of the big debut, I packed up my bags and headed for Wenatchee, Washington to chase the first run of the new ALC 42 locomotives over Stevens Pass and into Seattle. On the morning of February 10, 2022, we arrive in Wenatchee to follow train number 7, the westbound Empire Builder, over the Cascade Mountains and into Seattle. The train is seen idling in the station as it waits for passengers to board and a crew change. On the front of the train is Amtrak ALC 42 number 302, the first of the new Charger locomotives to lead a train. During the previous night, one of the P-42 locomotives and Charger 301 were uncoupled from the main section of the train in Spokane, Washington to take the smaller Portland section down to Pasco, Washington and along the Columbia River to Portland, Oregon. Just before 7.50 a.m., the Empire Builder departs Wenatchee. Ahead lies miles of some of the most spectacular mountain scenery in the Pacific Northwest. At East Winton, about 15 miles west of Leavenworth, the Empire Builder rolls past the old Winton Lumber Mill. The train continues to fly up the valley to Cascade Tunnel, the longest railroad tunnel in the United States. After cresting the summit and passing through the tunnel, 302 meets an eastbound grain train at Scenic Siding.
There is still plenty of snow on the ground as train number seven continues on through the town of Bering. We catch up with the Empire Builder along Highway 2 in Gold Bar, Washington. The next stop in Everett is about a half hour away. With Puget Sound in the background, Amtrak 302 nears the end of its first revenue trip, passing Seattle's Olympic Sculpture Park. South of downtown Seattle, the Empire Builder crosses Horton Street after dropping off all the passengers at Seattle's King Street Station. The train will head a short distance to the south in order to be turned. It will then proceed back to the yard where it will be serviced while it waits for its departure back to Chicago on Saturday, February 12th. A short while later, the train returns north to the Amtrak Seattle Yard.
Thanks for joining me for this look at the inaugural trip of the new Siemens ALC42 in Amtrak Long Distance Train Service. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like it in the future, let me know in the comments below and hit the like button. For regular upload notifications, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. To see even more train and railroad themed content, join me on my other social media pages. I'll see you next Friday at 9am Pacific Time for an all new railroad themed adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.